Well, uh, this is uh, the cartridge. You need to put a filter, or we call it a frit, uh, at uh, the top of the of the cartridge. Uh, there are several kind of frets that you can use. It depends of the size of the the cartridge that you are using. And now we will load it with some silica gel. We can use this spoon. I think uh, it seems to be enough for me. Yes, I just I took some silica gel from here and I put it inside the cartridge. This is the level of silica gel. Now I'll put another fret here. You don't have to to let any uh, any to uh, uh, right to uh, turn it to be uniform. You see here there is no poros between the silica. It needs to be compact. And uh, now I think that uh, my sample is really absorbed on the silica. I can't stop it right now. So you pour your sample here and you scratch your uh, bottle as well. So you need to scratch your round flask here from your sample. And then you know you move your uh, sample your dried material to the cartridge here and while you are scratching your round flask you can fornicate it so the sonication it helps to facilitate the task and uh, base it on the amount that you used here how much uh, of your plant material and the complexity of your, of your mixture you can choose you can choose your the sortable column that will be uh, more practical for your separation there are a variety of columns and uh, each column has uh, a range of amounts that you can load it with. I'll show you this is my own column that I used usually. I can uh, load it between 3, 200 milligram and 4 grams. And uh, I have uh, about, I have here around 2 grams from my material. But bear in mind if you have uh, your complex, is, uh, your mixture is very complex you need to use a big one right if it is easy you can um, use a small one because the more you increase the length of your column and the size of the column the more you, you get a good separation but on the other side you will lose a lot of solvents this is the inconvenient well this is uh what about the dry loading or how to prepare your uh, uh, material and how to load it into the cartridge and the, the next step you can start your flush column and uh, make the suitable gradient or illusion system or the method that you found 
place it on the, the TLC, right? And uh, you can get your compound.